I, when I finally came to the conclusion that Nigeria had failed me, I stopped writing poetry. That was, that was practically the end of my career as a poet. Um, because I, I, everything I'd written was about Nigeria. And I felt betrayed. Um, but I also felt like I had missed something, which could have been a good thing, missing it, if the Nigerian project had recovered and redirected itself in the right direction. It wouldn't have been a, a terrible thing that I missed the fact that this nation actually for three years or two and a half years, yes, for three years, beginning with the pogroms and then going into the civil war, that this nation was actually willing to kill me for something that I did not do, for something that my father did not do, for something that people in Mbise did not do, or in Aba, you know? I missed that growing up in the 70s. It wasn't part of the conversation. In fact, it was suppressed. You were not meant to mention what had just happened. Um, and if Nigeria had recovered the sense of purpose where all Nigerians are the same in terms of opportunity, in terms of acceptance, in terms of working together, in terms of not being excluded, in terms of children not being punished because their parents come from an umbrella state, you know, then missing that part of the story would not be a problem. In fact, it, you know, it would be a good thing because we could all then continue to build. But I had, then I had personal experiences within the pro-democracy movement with people like Kaya Day, my friend, you know, and, and so on and so forth, that reminded me constantly that I wasn't Nigerian, I was Igbo. That when push came to shove, they would not treat me as Nigerian. They would treat me as Igbo. And that was uh, a crisis moment for me. Deep, deep, deep crisis. Um, and it took a while for me to recover from that because I had to leave the pro-democracy movement I even went, moved to the United States. That's, to, that's actually the reason I moved to the United States from the UK was I felt like, hmm, maybe I wasted my life in a cause that meant nothing. Whether that was true or not is debatable, but that's how I felt at that point that I, I had completely wasted my entire youth on behalf of a nation that would, on very simple little excuse, kill me. It wasn't funny. Um, and I had to rethink everything. But also, going back to the matter of the passport, 